Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK right behind me. You see it. Warning, just in case. You never know, man. Don't forget, we do got twitch.com. That's where you can catch a live stream if we do go live. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon, where we post seven to ten times a week, including Premier League highlights. Link down in the description, man. Go check it out, man, if you got time. This Police Interceptors. I believe this is an episode I haven't seen. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. To find people selling drugs. Yep, hanging around. Yeah, they're dodge. It pays to have an idea who's buying them. There's a couple of users sat waiting at the entrance to the Castle Retail Park, the entrance on the corner of Hartley Road where it meets Radford Boulevard. They definitely are users, both got a bit of shopping with them though. They went into the retail park and they just look like they're waiting for someone. I'm just going to... Just camp out on the nitties, huh? Wait on Prospect Street, which is just off uh, Churchfield Lane. The knife crime team are tailing two suspected users, clocked in Radford by Gavin Mike. Then tracked by Sergeant Daly through a retail park. Yeah, they sat on the steps waiting. A mixed race male and a mountain bike's met up with those two users. Out my line of sight, we don't know whether or not he's a dealer. Or... But they suspect he is. Turn that stick, please. We need a unit in the retail park and we need some on the outside of it. We go in. They move to surround the retail park. Yeah, we're just turning. Looks like I'm gonna to have to edit this video. Left on to Hartley, so we'll be at that uh, pedestrian entrance. Mike's going in on foot. I'll drop you here. To help the Sarge nick the suspected dealer on the bike. Mike keeps fit by scuba diving, but he's no slouch on dry land. And he'll need to be quick. Because the Sarge has grabbed the suspect and needs help urgently. Where are you? This must be like a newer episode. Because I ain't, I don't I only seen it. Who is Mike? Never seen them. Mike arrives to find it kicking off big time. <laughs> Get me out of your back now! I've got a taser on your back! I've got a taser on your back! Release your arms now! Release your arms! Release your arms! <laughs> the man's not playing ball. Get your back now! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Stop resisting. <laughs> Release your arms! And they're struggling. Mm -hmm. Y'all just caught that man dealing. He's fighting for his freedom right now. Link to control him. <laughs> Luckily, the cavalry's here. The suspect's putting up a hell of a fight. Right, you're gonna get sprayed. Stop resisting. And earns a blast of parva spray in the face. You're gonna get sprayed. Turn your head away, Matt. Turn your head away. Yeah. Right. Right. Spray. Even with five cops on him and a face full of parva, he's. Is this a cop or is this a a citizen who's helping? Might be undercover. Not in cuffs. <laughs> They need more manpower. We're in the entrance we made. And it's en route. Bro, who they got down there? Is that the Hulk? Where is everyone? Joe and Adam descend on total chaos. And a suspect still free of cuffs. Stay there! Stop moving! I'm double cuffed it. 
<laughs> See, this would make me ask the question: Do cops? Do these cops be working out? Uh, like, do they be lifting heavy weights, or do they just be sculpting in there with light weights? So I know, like, this one looked like he worked out a little bit, like, but come on now. Loosen your hands up now! It's now a seven-man job. Right, right. 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 And the only way they can secure the suspect is to link two sets of cuffs together. On your side, mate. Stop resisting. Wait. On your side. On your side. But he hasn't finished struggling. Relax. Shut up, man. Let's get some leg straps on as well because he's been kicking out. Well, no, he cooked. Stop moving around then, like we've told you. Get me in a single pair of cuffs so he can't reach for his pockets. I'm not reaching. You are, mate. We've just washed you three times. Hang on, I've got my camera. At last, he's secure in a single set of cuffs. Calm down. Just calm down. We'll get you up in a minute. We'll get you up. Calm down. Yeah, we're gonna need a van, mate. Mate, you're under arrest on suspicion of being concerned and inspired class A drugs. That was quite the tussle. Strong lad. Yeah, for real. He might be off some of that stuff he used and he's selling. He might have managed to break free me the first time. Yeah. But I've just rugby tackled him off his bike. Yeah. I've not been able to keep him on the floor, but that Mike's joined me. Uh, We've managed to just get him on the floor. And Mike's not come out unscathed. He has to come in, he's giving me a nosebleed. Huh? Kick me in the nose, mate. Kick you in the nose. Yeah, he's up a little bit. Yeah, if you wasn't going to jail before, you're definitely going now, buddy. Right. Hey, right, you're also under arrest on suspicion of assaulting this officer here. Obviously, in the struggle when Matt and me went to the floor, um, he's lashed out of his arms, we're struggling to get blood his back, and at some point, his armour has let hit me in the face, causing my nose to bleed. Uh, so obviously we've got a police assault there, which he's obviously been arrested for as well. And it took a quite a large amount of officers to obviously take him to the floor and get him detained safely. Uh, unfortunately, this is sometimes part of our job that we have to put up with. Uh, I've had worse. <laughs> the suspect, it's weed, was carrying four bags of green. I think it's weed, mate. And a sum of cash. Uh, we'll get him in the car and we'll just get, get him gone. He's off to the nick. While Gavin Mike. Oh, I've split my head open yeah. as well. <laughs> I didn't even know about my head. <laughs> are on their way to an address. Let's not overdo it. Yes, you have a little thing on your head, but like. I get it, y'all gonna give them Before they charge. arrive, intel comes through that it may contain weapons. The historical intel for 2016 is that he keeps a shotgun at this that address in his address, bedroom. Definitely. And he's been in prison because he was in possession of knives. They've got permission to search the property. As soon as you single crew, do you want to go around the rear, please, mate? <coughs> and they arrive with a door key found on the suspect. Ready, mate? You ready? Yeah, go on. Hello? Hello? Who that? Police. I've got a search authority door. Come in now and have a chat with you. Inside are two women, one with a baby. What's your partner's name? You might as well just tell me. Mm, bro just trying to support his what his kids. I'm not saying anything. Okay, he's in custody. W he's been girl. arrested. He's safe and well, but he's been arrested. We've got an authority to search because the offence that he's been arrested for um, means that the inspector can give us authority to come and search. We can't tell you what we're searching for. But it looks a bit like that. Obviously, I see you've got a spliff in your hand. Um, we are going to search thoroughly and we'll get a, a, a drug dog in as well. True to Gav's word, the property's given a proper going over Cooked. and it doesn't take long to make a worrying discovery. That's not illegal to have in your, inside of your house, right? It's right next to the, the entrance hall. Uh, it's quite new, still sharp. Very nasty. Hot on the heels of the machete or a box full of cash. Ah. Jars stuffed with multiple deal bags of weed. Nice deal bags. Y'all can hear. Suspected cocaine. Y'all can hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's THC oil. And Dang. what appears to be a synthetic cannabis substitute. THC is oil. one of the um, 
that it's still on the screen. I'm not putting it cannabis. Down. It's illegal in the UK. And I think what he's doing is he's decanting it into smaller bottles and selling it. Yeah. Obviously, you can see the kind of things that we're going to be taking with us. Cannabis and cash and things like that. Is that yours? It, I have to ask you. Is, oh, okay. So where does he live normally then, if he doesn't live here? You don't know where your boyfriend lives? If the boyfriend can't be linked to this property, then the two girls in it have questions to answer because someone's responsible for the assortment of drugs and the knife. We are the knife crime team and invariably when we find people with weapons, we find them with... They're not going to do anything about the knife. It's found inside of his house, right? It's not outside, what it is inside. It's not illegal to have a knife inside your house, is it? drugs as well so it just shows that the two go hand in hand luckily the guy arrested earlier didn't have anything like this to hand could have had a, one of these knives in his waistband that he was reaching for we really don't know what we're dealing with but he's put up a, an extreme level of sort of um, aggression and resistance to try and get away from us and unfortunately Mike's had to take one for the team and take a kick in the nose the suspect who took on seven cops and lost was found guilty of assaulting an officer. He was fined £200 and ordered to pay £125 compensation. He's also under investigation for possession with intent to supply, as are the two girls discovered in the property full of drugs. No further action was taken regarding the knife found at the house, Told but it's you. been confiscated as part of the investigation. Coming up. I told you no action was going to be taken for that. Interceptors carry a ton of kit to keep them safe. That's a snork fit. The trick is trying to run in it. Do you reckon it weighs 15 k with a stabby vest? Yeah, about that. Yeah. In weather like this, it's just, well, obliterates me. I mean, when you're coming up against young lads, track suits, trainers, and we're big thick boots, you got the your body armor, and then your vest with your handcuffs. I'm tired of hearing the excuses. You guys train in that stuff. You should be used to it. If Goku can get inside that cryotherapy thing and, and put two times gravity, then you can put on a 15 pound cryo. Ta Tariq Evans is one of the fastest NFL players in the league and he wears full gear. Like, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I used to train in a weight vest and run full speed and outrun people. I don't want to hear it. Stop trying to make it sound like you're doing something special. You're not. <laughs> you're not. And you take. You know what it is. Train harder. He's a everything else. But I'd rather wear this and not get stabbed than potentially lose someone in foot chase. All right then. Shh. Stop complaining. If you have a problem with it or it's too heavy, you think wear it on your off days, like a weight vest. Wear a weight vest on your off days to get used to it, then you'll be like, it's nothing. Phil and John are in the Marked 5 series, looking for a Ford Focus. So, it must be a lot of money in the And they'll be glad of protective kit today. Confirm, still whiskey really? Mike for serious assault. Because the driver's wanted on suspicion of assault. Yeah, yeah. Received Intel says he's uh, possibly not got a full license either. He's running through DL, please. Yeah, he's only got a uh, provisional license. Received. That's it. There he goes. Attention. He's uh, looked very shifty then, mate. Keep in mind, from the last, don't think I didn't hear it. Bro got no time. He got fines. What a W place to live, man. If I was in the, if I was in the UK or the UK. If America um, had those same laws, man, listen, all the guys will be free at this point, man. Attention. A swift Yui, secure tech. And ditch the laptop. And they're after him. 
Tango 83 got sight of that vehicle, Ford Focus. It's pinged the camera, shows uh, males, possibly Whiskey Mike. It's starting to drive slightly erratically. If I can have a view, it's travelling. It's not a failed stop at the moment, but I'm anticipating it maybe. Phil once worked in a factory making sweet tins, but these days he's a quality street cop. To uh, top desk, can we potentially? That was good. That was good. We'll look at preemptives if we get enough units travelling. And he wants more units to stop the focus before the driver can make a break for it. Have you found preemptive? Attention. The guy behind the wheel may be wanted on suspicion of serious assault. He's looking down the outside, isn't he? He's leaving a gap as well. Yeah. So the cavalry can't get here soon enough. Vehicle is in lane one, lane one, the intention of going left onto Rosemary Street. Not liking that, is he? No. 217, I'll set up a stinger site, uh, end of Rosemary Street with um, Tesco Road. A stinger team ahead are rushing to roll out a bed of spikes to take out his tyres. Get received, we're left, 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 Rosemary Street. Approaching stinger. Approaching stinger site. This is it. Thing is not set up. Really? The moment's passed. Passing stinger. Yeah, 10 4, passing stinger side. And the suspect puts his toe down. They were spooked in now, he's uh, now accelerating through. Definitely on the run. Yeah. He's hung a left. From 8 2, this is a now failed stop, repeat failed stop. And he's heading for the hills. Is it possible if I owned a Hellcat, is it possible to get it to the UK? Cause I don't care what nobody say, you're not catching a Hellcat. You're not doing it. You're going to have to get the chopper out. <laughs> and that may be too late. Just not saying that I'm a law-abiding citizen. Not saying that I would ever do anything to be in a situation where I have to pedal to the metal um but I'm, I'm just saying like hypothetically dead end real drifting as phil moves to pin the ford in place the driver makes a handbrake turn and spins out of the way it's going to be a decamp who is that, a professional NASCAR driver? I That was smooth. I ain't even going to hold you. But now he's over the bonnet and off on his toes. Get a grip. Shorts, trainers and a head start versus armour, stab vests and size nines. I've lost him. Phil heard a door slam. The rose, I had to free it. Now he's not in here. Is there anybody coming running around? Striped top? Yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> Nearby, John directs reinforcements. Last sighting, we've ditched it round here, so he's gone into here and he's either come out down here or further around the back. While Phil keeps up the search... I know he's gonna go tell the guys, like, man, I hit the handbrake, I didn't drift it. <laughs> Heading for a block of flats. From 756, has he got any connections in that area? Intel says the suspect has connections with a nearby flat. Yeah, 10-4, that might be where we've heard the slam. Are you on? Are you yeah. on nine? Quick, so this is where the slam. Just keep an eye on this side. And I'll keep the other. Do you know which keep one? Keep on that side. I'll keep an eye on this side. Get someone who the doors going in. I, oh, the doors going in. Okay, I would not answer the door or anything. From uh, seven five six, I've got this address front and back. If I can get another unit to me, I put some shouts in, and then I can put the door in. Can we have uh, local units to our location? It's the police. I need you to open the door for me, otherwise the door is being put in. It's the police. John tries the front door. Open the door. Open the back. 
someone's in, but they're not the suspect, and they're not happy. Right, is anybody else in the address? Okay, okay. Is there anybody else in the address? Is there anybody else in the address? Have a look. I'm asking you, mate, is there anybody in the address? No. A sweep of the property... From Phil, we're inside. ...reveals there's no one in but the guy who answered the door. He's not here, Bob. Right, when did you last see him? Yes, this morning. Right, okay, okay. It definitely ain't him. Maybe he got neighbours that got let him in. No idea where he might be, then, if he's not here. I'm not clue. No. What relation is he to you, mate? He isn't. Sorry? He isn't. Just an associate, is he? Wherever the wanted man is, he's not here. Thank you, thanks for your cooperation. Oh, I'm annoyed. Go ahead, Phil. We know your reputation. Smell him out. You got the nail nose for doing this, that, the third. Let me see it. But they haven't given up hope yet. So he's either still in this area or he's yeah. come out and carried on down alleyway onto that main road, hasn't he? Straight through there. The only other thing is if he's still... He's gone to ground still somewhere. Still knocking around. Yeah. Whichever way he's gone, he's given them the slip. If he's uncut down somewhere... Cause Not even gonna lie, I'm rooting for this guy. Bro didn't hit the handbrake drift. Like, after that much effort, you done fast and furious them. I, I, hey, listen, who are you? Dom? He's out of breath. Um, if we sort of disturb him, he might pop up again. Or if he thinks pretty much we moved on, we might get a glimpse of him. Even with eyes in the sky... The drone. Yeah, live links on for uh, your info so you've got to see the uh, drone footage. It seems a forlorn search. You haven't seen anybody come running around with a blue and white striped top, have you? No. no. They wouldn't tell you anyway. Go on. Let's go back this way, sorry, mate. Until around this, this side. Oh, you've not seen the blue wandering around with a white and blue striped top, have you? No. Okay. Oh, you. No. By the way. I think he knows the area better than we do with all the rat runs and what have you. The good thing is, though, is as we've pulled alongside him, he's got out, we've got ideal footage of him. Although he's got away from us, we know who he is. His time will come. The fleet-footed Einstein has left enough clues to ensure that won't be... No, I don't think you're going to catch him. But he can grow out his hair, cut his facial hair, you'll never recognise him again. Never wear this outfit again. It's, you're done. If that car was stolen, so be it. <laughs> um, including his name, his registered address, his car... Baseball bat. I can't see any ball, though. Oh, that... Okay, well, car not stolen. Well, yeah, he cooked. You're done. And his passenger. He obviously doesn't think much of you, does he? He's left you carrying the can. Huh? He's left you carrying the can. <laughs> so what's his reason for doing that, then? Uh, I ain't got a clue. So where we like to go to find him now? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Honestly. There you go. Don't you trick. He wouldn't tell us if you did anyway. The disappearing driver had his day in court for assault, dangerous driving, driving without a license and insurance. Assault? He pleaded guilty and got a total of nine months behind bars and was banned from driving for 18 months. He got time, and y'all caught the last person with drugs, and he ain't getting no time. It's crazy here. Like, this is a wild place. The UK really hit different. <laughs> I sit, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. I've done this job for 21 years, and the carnage that I've seen through drink driving. Drink drivers account for more than one in ten deaths on UK roads. So you have failed... The breath test, mate. For me, it should be zero tolerance when it comes to drink driving. It's one of my pet hates. Most who get nicked for drink driving learn their lesson, hopefully without harming anyone. But thousands go on to re-offend each year. It's like a hardcore minority who will just do it regularly without really any great concern because, you know, so far so good, never had a crash. They think they're driving awesome. They, they're they like, okay, yeah, Lisa. I'm driving really well. Welcome. And so not driving Welcome back. Really well. I've been to a few fatal car accidents because of drink drivers, and it's just horrific. Um. 
It's the middle of the afternoon and nothing much is doing on the roads. Oh, you may. Sergeant Johnny Groves is at the wheel of a marked Octavia alongside Adam Moroz. I know a girl named Octavia. I went to school with her. That's crazy. I wonder if she knows she, she's named after a car. After a slow start to their shift, a sniff of action. It's a Ford Focus in black. Uh, registered in Humberside, but they've told DVLA no longer keep her. Nice. The Ford Focus ahead is registered to a woman, but seems to have a man in the driver's seat. So, if it's a male driver. I can't see. Very erratic. Is it a female? The lady. No, it's the lad. Is it? Yeah. And the lad appears to be on the wrong side of the road. Ooh. Without warning, he weaves into the path of an oncoming car, missing a head-on by inches. Well, you're definitely getting a ticket now. Fucking idiot. I'm gonna pull him over. Who, me? Yeah, you. I'm just getting to get into space, mate. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Mate, hey, are you drunk? No. You sure? Yeah. Your driving's a little bit erratic, buddy. Why? Well, because you've been slowing up and speeding down. You've just gone around the cars there and nearly crashed into oncoming traffic while we've been behind you. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, I can smell a bit of alcohol on you as well. Yeah. Okay, so come take a seat in our car. We're going to be breathalyzing you. Are you sure to drive this vehicle? There's no mail on the insurance for it. Dude, well, I'm, take my arm, pal. I'm just going over here. Okay. Take a seat in there for me, please, mate. Ooh. You got license, mate? No. Oh. No. You got insurance? No. Oh. He being honest. Uh, he got the long in sit. Oh. What did you do? I'm gonna look up if we got them here. We do. I'm gonna see if I can find one before I go when I go outside. Mosa says the best thing about the job is the variety of people you meet, but he'd rather not meet drink drivers. He stinks of alcohol, slow, slow in his speech. Surprised why police have pulled him over for driving like an idiot. They've radioed for a spare breathalyzer tube. Meanwhile, the driver, okay. Sit back there. not content with weaving all over the road, is weaving all over Johnny's back seat. Just sit back there, please. I'm, I'm sat back. Right, sit back where you were. Go back over there. Whose car is it? It's a friend. Do they know you've got it? No. They don't know you've got the car? No. Okay. So what's your friend's name? Sorry? What's your friend's name whose car it is? <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> well, it does, because you've got to get locked up for twock. Well, you can run the registration, you'll find it. We didn't tell him whose car it is. He's staring down the barrel of a taking without consent charge. So if we can contact them and find out whether they want to make a complaint about you yeah, taking it or not, yeah, then that makes a difference, doesn't it? If it's your car and you're just using it in... It's not my car. What, so whose car is it? It doesn't matter. It does matter. It does matter whose car it is, doesn't it? Because obviously you're using it, aren't you? I'm using it. Yeah, so if, you, if you've if you borrowed it from them, we need to speak to them and make sure they're all right with you using it, because it's going to get seized. So either you're lying or it's your car and you're just pretending that it's your friends. All of this waffling, just, it don't even matter. He's not giving you the info. It's cooked. Right, so it's your friends. So what's their name? Okay. Either the car belongs to a Mrs. Matter, first name doesn't, or the driver is in trouble. It's up to you how you want to play it, mate. When we last dealt with by the police? Arrested? Yeah. Uh, 2000 and... Ten, I think. What for? Drink driving. Drink driving. So well, you, time to find... You're not new to this, you're true to this, buddy. Find out if you've learned your lesson, because a breathalyzer tube has arrived. He's bladded. Is he? Thank you, yeah. <laughs> what have you had to drink today? How tall is she? Uh, about six cans. Six cans could put him way over the limit. 
Right, because you know, of the manner of your driving, the fact you smell of alcohol and you've got open alcohol containers in your car, I require you to provide me with a specimen of breath of analysis. Uh, have you had an dr alcoholic drink in the last 20 minutes? Yes. Yeah, how long ago, mate? Uh, about seven or eight minutes ago. Yeah, we'll have to get about 10 minutes, though, mate, till we do this. He's not lying. He's telling y'all the truth, though, so, I mean, you can't even knock him for that. He's, uh, he's steaming. <laughs> There's one useful way to spend the next 10 minutes, and that's fessing up to who owns the car. Did, did you give my sergeant the details of who the car belongs to, or not? I'm, I'm not prepared to give it to him. You're not prepared to give us those details? No. Okay. Oh, no, it belongs to my brother's girlfriend. Fastest U-turn ever. The brother's girlfriend's name checks out, but there's still the matter of the potential drink driving. Lovely, thanks. I think he's going to be a 3-5 for Podalco. We're just waiting to confirm that. Though it's not really a question of whether he's over the limit of 35. Just one long continuous breath until I tell you to stop, okay? Go, 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 on. Good lad. But by how much? Double. Right, you've blown 106. Oh! Legal limit is 35. Triple? He's pretty... calm for triple. Okay, so at this moment in time, 106, mate. Yeah, so I'm arresting you on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle on a road while over the prescribed limit for alcohol. Do you understand what's happening? Yeah. 106. He's blown 106, um, which is obviously over three times the drink drive limit. He's not particularly with it. I'm not particularly with it. Mate, your driving was horrendous. That's the reason that we... Yeah, but what about my attitude? He's not the attitude of a sensible driver. What's made you drive today then? Uh, I want a small bit. You want a small bit? Yeah, I could be awesome. What about DoorDash? What y'all got? What do y'all call it? Diggeroo? What is it? The delivery service? They don't deliver alcohol? That's nice. He doesn't seem to realize how dangerous he is. And back at the Nick. Go on then, dude. Yeah, the evidential breath test keep going, 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 keep going. Couldn't be more of a formality. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Why you got two hands on the breathalyzer? Why he holding the breathalyzer like this? He trying to hock to eat that mug. I'm concerned, generally. This is hock to eat. Two hands on it. I see it They're right up under there. There's the second hand. Keep going. Thank you. Take a seat. Oh, that's his hand. Come here often. Oh, oh that's my third. Huh? Third. Right. Okay, so if the results are 108 and 107. Okay. Lower score counts. So he's more than three times the legal limit, and it turns out completely delusional. I just feel safe. I feel safe to drive. It's, um, so I feel like I'm not putting anybody else at risk. Unfortunately for him, but fortunately for the rest of us, the courts disagreed. After pleading guilty to drink driving, the 107 microgram man was ordered to pay fines and costs totaling £389. To attend alcohol treatment, and banned from driving for 26 months. It will all this is not bad. In America, you get a DUI, you're probably gonna be out of seven thousand dollars minimum. Seven thousand minimum. So be subject to electronic monitoring for six weeks. The consequences could have been far worse. Glad we uh, glad we got hold of him. Drink driver off the streets. Coming up. Minimum. It's late morning, and out on patrol across the county are numerous firearms officers, including Lewis and Jim, and Lisa and Lee, stars of the firearms firmament, and occasionally Channel 5. Oh, here we go, look. <laughs> and channel this channel. On YouTube. I've seen you on tele. Ah, oh. <laughs> unlucky. <laughs> yeah, I, th I knew Lisa was popular. Y'all can't tell me. <clears throat> we all know what she's known for. Have a good day. Do you know what? 
She owes me cakes now because I said if one person pulls us over today, she owes cakes. So you've just got me a nice cream cake. Thank you. Never, never. <laughs> cake finds are a special treat for jobbing firearms officers. But sometimes you want something a touch more savoury. Oh, real quick craving for salt and vinegar hula hoops. Just come about with them. You pregnant? No. But pastries and potato hoops will have to wait. There's the other ARV. I'm gonna wait up here. Lewis, Jim, Lisa and Lee have been called in to help stop a van travelling on the A38. Sitting here. It's a good place, it's trapped. If it comes here, it can't come off. The driver is suspected of serious assault. Yesterday, lunchtime, caller reports people fighting outside their house with knives and chains. Someone's in possession of a knife, someone's in possession of a chain. Cops go there and somebody's got quite a nasty hand injury. And the injury is consistent with an air weapon. It's enough to put you off your hula hoops. Yep. So this van is registered to a lad. He's been named for the job and is wanted for it. And there it was in company with... Got it? Yep. To the team, we've got contact with the subject vehicle. He's just come through the lights at junction 28 on the RA, so stand by. Up ahead, Lisa takes the lead in her armed response vehicle. I fancy it'll be going for the eight. That's what I like to hear, man. Lisa taking the lead. All right. 38, in fact, it's in there lurking lane one. While Lewis and Jim fall in behind. Did you see who was in it? Did you see just the one male? That's all I right. could see, mate, to be fair, but I might be wrong. I think it was just the one occupant, the driver, we believe. Um, vehicle is continuing. We're at 6 0 in what is a 7 0 on a dual carriageway on the A38. Um, he's taking some funny maneuvers, now gone into lane 2. No, he's done it. Um, and we're pulled up at the green ATM. ATM? Or is it lane 2? ATS. <laughs> I've got a cake finder for that, for calling the traffic <laughs> light on <laughs> <a> cash machine. <laughs> Lisa may be mixing up automatic traffic signals with automated telemachines. Lisa, I know you don't do too much work. You know what I'm saying? But we're here on your side. And you're in, you're embarrassing us like this? <laughs> ATM? I didn't even know the green lights was called ATSs, but ATM? She think about that check. She trying to collect money and just chill on the job. I get it. But she's getting the important information right. It's just done a weird manoeuvre. Um, I think it's aware of her now. Yeah. It's um, turned okay. a left to left on two. Stand by. Really probably come to a natural this, you know. Lise, if it comes to a natural, we'll obviously our hand will be forced. Uh, I would prefer uh, the third car with us, though. Um, Obviously, I'll call any strike on you as vehicle one. After two decades on the force, Jim's officially been made sergeant. The new Sarge is calling the shots today. Yeah, we've got this um, red ATS traffic signal. I'm just wondering whether we should stick it on now. And his tough decisions to make. How uh, safe are we here, though? I'm going to say hold. Yeah, okay. The target is suspected of assault, so Jim decides to play it safe. I'm going to say hold, mate, because I know the third car's close. Jim, where are you, please? I'd say we're about three minutes behind you. We're now approaching the red ATM. ATS, Lisa. Why does Lisa keep calling a traffic light cash point? She said it twice? As they pass another automated traffic signal, Sergeant Jim finally has his ducks in a row. Yes, yes. We have now got the third vehicle with us, dog handlers in support. The preference is a reinforced stop at a natural slowing or stopping feature. He keeps gesticulating out of the window as if uh, to pull him over, pointing his finger towards the curb direction. The suspect may have an air rifle, but he's not calling the shots here. You can't just say, oh, well, we'll just do it here because he's telling us to, do you know what I mean? I don't want him to dictate when we stop him, if that makes sense. We dictate when he stops, not the other way around. Yeah. And we've decided he stops now. And um, we stop them. Let's do it. 
So y'all just wanted to execute the nice T-Pack maneuver. Y'all didn't want him to just regularly stop and pull over. There's that ego, man. He's like, no, you don't dictate. We already got three cars in, in play. We're going to do the T-Pack on you. Switch off, mate. I've got my dog in the passenger seat. Switch off, okay, mate. mate. Switch the engine off. What's your name? Can I, can I not take my dog? I've just spoke to one on your phone, mate. Told you I'm coming in. Stand hand gestures, look, look at me. See, that's the thing. You wanted, mate, for a job from yeah, yesterday. Yes, I know, yeah? I know, mate. Do you understand what you're being nicked for, mate? Job from no, yesterday? No. Yeah. Why are you twisting me up for? I'm not. Wow. He knows about yesterday. Oh, nah, you know. You are twisting his arm. Because he's calm and he's giving himself up. You're doing it, buddy. Incident and claims he's spoken to the cops about it already, but it's all a bit confusing. Two geezers are rung my phone, yes, that they had nothing to do with this job. I explained to him that's how you know how we're coming home. He'll need to straighten it out at the station. The van will need uh, recovery for use in the commission of crime pending a search. Jesus Christ, get me to the station. They want transport to the Nick before this boils over. What are you calling me for? We need to get some local. Here we go, Lisa. Pull them. Show them your gut strength. Show them what's really going on. Cops come and scoop you up, mate. I'm allowed to stand on the spot. Are you seeing this? Look, I'm not allowed to move like this. No, my hands are behind hands my back. Behind your back. If you fall over, I've got to try and stop you from your face, haven't I? Next it's one. for your own safety, mate. My own safety. Yes. I'm real. I am real. Excuse me, sir. We don't don't do that. Not to Lisa. Anybody else is fine. Hey! I'm real right here now, right now. We're just going to shift your van out the road. That's going to get recovered as well, in case it was at this job yesterday. Are you listening to me? You're just not bothering. As is reasonable. You know you wanted because you've just told us. You told us all. I just spoke to them this morning on the phone. Don't shout. I've spoke to them on the phone. Who's them? Come back to hand myself. When have I said you're lying? Me no, we're waiting for a local car to come and scoop right, you up. So I'm not going to put you in a firearms car, am I? Well, you're right to say nothing. Lisa, now you're littering. Your mask just flew off. Go get it. Secure, he's just giving us a load of chelp at the roadside. So we just need some support to get him in a police vehicle and get him away, really. Meanwhile, there's a dog to deal with. Here. Wee. Go on. Move. Snappy. It does deserve a little go then. Dog chilling. You're like, bro, go on somewhere. Can't you see it? Look at this beard on my face. I'm a grown man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a puppy. And a van to search. So they want the cursory to see if there's an air rifle kicking about. Hold tight. Not this, not this dog biting my arm off either. But it's all right, I just don't touch it. They're looking for a chain, a knife, and an air rifle. Yeah. There's the chain. chain. There is one in the van but it's not the biggest, most heavy-duty thing in the world. One down. Rude. So, I'm not entirely sure what he needs this for. That's two. It's a sleeper. Oh, that's broke. I'm glad he said curse research. I'll be here all day. Why am I doing this? I'm in charge here. But... I think that might be a result. <sighs> well, there we go. Full house. So, job yesterday apparently involved some kind of air rifle. I'll get hold of the OIC again, the detective, and see if they can describe the weapon a bit more. That is definitely an air rifle. Some more powerful than others. Traditionally used for like vermin control and target shooting and stuff. The problem with weapons like this is that you or I won't necessarily know that that is an air weapon and if somebody starts waving this around in the street or pointing it at you or I people aren't going to know whether it's a viable firearm or just an air weapon or not it's going to strike fear into people imagine this could be the one using the job yesterday so good result The man from the van is awaiting a charging decision for possession of an air weapon with intent to cause fear of violence possession of an offensive weapon, affray and assault if found guilty, he could be looking at time behind bars. Yeah, but he's definitely, possibly going to jail. Come. Got 
do some editing. You can see they're having to actually be held by string to support the actual plant growth. In the world of cannabis, interceptors are far more interested in taking down farmers and dealers than casual smokers. It's uh, overwhelming it's the, the smell. You wouldn't want to be working in here for too long. That's all. But that doesn't mean they'll turn a blind eye to people skinning up in public. Yep, yeah, come into play now. Least of all in a kid's play park. Here. Oh, yeah. Gav and Joe have called for assistance with three lads rolling a joint by the roundabouts. Hey, hope you all right? Yeah. Good man. Whoa, whoa. This guy's sound, but his buddy is giving Gav a right load of grief. Mate, you can be as difficult as you like about it. I've just seen you about to skin you're so, off. You're so tough for no reason, literally. You, can't, you came up to us to say, oh, you're skinning some, uh, let something me speak, like this. Let me tell you, crystal clear so you can understand. Yeah, tell me. Right? Little man syndrome, I feel it coming. He doesn't like that he has to look up at him. This here, we get lots of drug activity around here. Yeah. I've seen you and him with a green tub on there. Look like you're about ready to roll up a joint. Yeah, look like yeah. it. You yeah, look listen, like you was going to fight at you. No, what's I'm explaining to you? Okay, I search you. You've got cannabis in your pocket. Not mine. Not yours. No. Well, you're under arrest, <laughs> mate. I'm suspicion of possessing cannabis. Gav's a Derby County fan, so he's learned to keep calm in the face of adversity. But this guy is testing his patience. All right, you do not say All right, anything. Please. Yes. He's just taller than him. That's what it is. I'm I'm gonna stand by that. I already seen it. You have you telling me about criminals? Like this criminal activity. Yeah. Understand that. Well, come deal with it. But uh, you want to be basically difficult about it. I'm not difficult know. about it. You literally you put cuffs on me for no reason. Are you allowed to put cuffs on me for no reason? Yeah. 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 There is for no reason. reason. That's why I've done what it. What reason? What reason is it? You didn't prove me no reason. The other two lads. Should Church will be free to go. You mate's got an attitude, doesn't yeah. yeah. What type of You walk up to us, you cook me for no reason. Well, yeah, how am I not going to have an attitude? I'm holding my hand up next to me. But this one's attitude is going to get him into trouble. He's tensing up. Hey, difficult. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I could already tell. I knew this was going this way. He's mouthing off, but it ain't that bad where he's got to do all of this. He's just larger than him. So he's going to want to take control. I've been through this before. So. I didn't do relax. I didn't do get aggressive with me. I didn't do so He didn't get aggressive. With me to the car. I then. didn't do anything. What are you doing? Nicking you. Can you let me can hold my hands properly? Stop swearing. How can I not swear if you're handling me free man? What the? Stop swearing. How can I not swear? Would you not swear in this situation? No. And he wouldn't skin up in a park. Yeah, he would. Park either. Well, Push me around this shit. Ginger bitch. Quite the charmer. What's up with you? You got an attitude. What's problem. up with you me? Are. Attitude yeah, problem? Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. have attitude problem yeah. in my situation? Yeah? No, you know you've been you a dickhead. From the start. I've got it, I've got it. Yeah, he is being a dickhead. I'm not even gonna cap. I felt that I it's just energy now nah, he's not wrong for putting him in cuffs and and doing all of this because he is rolling up in a in a in a park. Like you and you're wrong. But like the energy was off. Like it, there, there wasn't the de-escalation wasn't de-escalating. He's supposed to be. Oh, he keeps his calm. Well, I don't think so. My hands bleeding now. That's your fault. It's my fault. Yeah. How tall is the average person in the UK? Down. That's because you became confrontational. How tall is the average man in the UK? Why is everybody so short? You know. And the way you're going, you'll have to confront a trip to custody. Or you can tow the line and walk with a warning. Hey Siri. Uh -huh. How tall is the average man in the United Kingdom? The average height of an adult male in the UK is 5 feet 10 inches, 177.8 centimeters. This answer is from an average dot co dot Okay. 510. I think it's the same here in America. Maybe, I, am I? Okay, I just got all tall friends then. Telling me that I'm smoking, I believe. 
Listen to me. Yeah, but it can't be more crystal have you, clear. Have you got, Wait, mate, you've got an attitude thing. problem. Okay. Listen to what I'm saying to you. Some people, Listen. like, they're just not used to being told, like, this is what's going to happen. It, it just wants it to be on his terms, which is probably what he's had all his life. Never had any boundaries. And now, of course, he's come up against the popo, and we're telling him that that's, that's not... I'm trying to, I'm trying to like give y'all like, I'm trying, but here you come. Oh, he's come up against the popo. Why would you do that? Why would you say that? And now of course he's come up against the popo and we're telling him that that's, that's not life. It's not how it works. This area. We're getting drug dealing and drug use. Sick. Yeah, so stay, you drug dealer is not You're talking, drug. you don't listen. But you can't see that he's done any wrong, despite the fact he's just on a park with little kids playing on. Unreal. I've seen you skinning up a joint over there. I've walked up to you, I've told you, I think that you're skinning up cannabis. I've searched you and you've got cannabis in your pocket. Now you're trying to play out that you don't know who it is. I could deal with this little bit of cannabis at the roadside and you're making it difficult. If I want to, I can take you into custody. I'd rather deal with you here and now, but you need to cut the attitude out. You understand what I'm saying? Right. He calms down and they take the cuffs off him. What I can do is a small amount of cannabis, rather than take you into custody, I can do you an interview right now that will take me about one or two minutes. I've got the questions already written out in a little form. You're eligible for a warning, what we call a cannabis warning. Cannabis is illegal, full stop, you know, I'm not justifying it in any way, but you know if you're smoking it in your bedroom at home, the truth of the matter is that the public in general probably don't care. You know when you're smoking it on a park, with a, when there's a woman there with two young kids, like, you know. Yeah. Medical marijuana in, the, in, in where I am in Florida, it's legal. But see, me, I don't, I don't care. I'm not a caring person about that stuff. Like, do you. If it's just me around, do your thing. But if my daughter's there, like, be, have some respect. Because me, I'm the type, I will fight you. Like, I'm not going to call the police. I'll fight you about it. I'll I tell you, I asked you nicely one time. Like, yo, bro, can you create some distance between me and you? Like, dude, I got my daughter here. She's playing right here. You just smoking a little, you know what I'm saying? I don't care, but, like, create a little bit of distance. I have some type of respect. And if you get smart, then you're going to have to see me. Because I'm not really going to deal with it. <laughs> I love to set examples in front of my daughter. Let your daddy be a superhero in your face. <laughs> like, have some respect for other people. The gobby joint roller got away with a cannabis warning. If he's caught with weed again, he won't be so lucky. Clearly, he doesn't like authority, and he even disagrees. His shorts not, his pants not long enough. He's with the fact that you found cannabis in his pocket. He's just a very disagreeable sort of guy. So I think we'll probably see him again. All right, W episode, man. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notices. And make sure you hit that like button, please, man. Like, can we get like 250? Dang.